Hey guys, my name's Ed Budd and I'm a non-elite runner from the southwest of the UK. I ran for a hundred days straight and this is what I found. So over the last few months to keep myself busy, I fell into doing a run streak and I've just got to a hundred days. hundred days straight, no breaks. First time I've ever done it. Not sure it will be the last time I ever do it, but I'm not going to repeat it anytime soon. How am I feeling? Well, the legs are feeling pretty tired, as you'd probably imagine. Worn out, sapped of energy, but I'm actually really happy to have hit 100 days injury free. I think with all the new shoes to test out, I review shoes on a weekly basis. It's really helped me make progress and also improve that aerobic base, which will undoubtedly be of benefit in the long run. No pun intended. A few stats for you on the 100 day run streak. So the shortest run on the 100 day run streak was three miles, around about eight minutes, 17 per mile. So I've been running those easier efforts much easier than I have been before. It's kind of mandatory really. Hitting about 25 minutes. So some days it was easy stuff just to get some miles in the books. Some of the longest days were 15 mile efforts as you know, I've been reviewing shoes on the long run test, so that 15 mile route. Always keeping the pace just below eight minutes per mile though on those longer runs. Testing shoes out like the Endorphin Speed and also the Adidas Boston 9. I think certainly the last few weeks have been the most testing and difficult to navigate. I tried to work out the average run distance. I think it was probably about eight miles in a day. That's obviously helped out a little bit by some of those longer runs towards the end of the week. But I think that's pretty commendable, actually. I know some people do run streaks and they perhaps do like a mile or two miles some days, but to manage to keep it to that level, I'm pretty proud of myself. I think one disadvantage to doing this run streak though has been the lack of meaningful speed work that I've been able to do. There's some days where I've just felt absolutely drained after running. So I'm looking forward to having some rest days in there soon and returning to perhaps a more standard perhaps training regime. I think it's time now to let the body soak up some of those miles and some of the training. It's absolutely been beneficial though for that aerobic base. Of course the baby will be appearing sometime soon. I'm going to be a dad again so that could happen any time. I'm glad I've managed to get the 100 in the books though just before that happens. So I think the run streak will probably have ended anyway sometime soon. So some totals, I think I've worked them out correctly. 814 miles over the 100 days. So approximately 105 hours, I think. So an average of about an hour a day or just over an hour running a day. So something like about eight miles a day is about what we're looking at. I think I added it up right, pretty tired. So as I said, obviously those long runs account for that slight increase in the average. I wasn't running eight miles a day, that's just madness, but um, I was certainly doing some three or fours, just at easy pace sometimes. I have varied up the paces quite considerably though over this run streak, sort of adjusting it when and where required really, listening to the body and saying, what can I do reasonably today? Sometimes that was slug slow, other times sonic fast. But it's only now I look at the total number of miles on the books, I'm quite staggered actually. Lots of shoes tested over that time. I remember getting the Asics Nova Blast. They've accounted for 100 miles of the 100 day run streak. Also the Fuel Cell TC from New Balance, that one's probably another 100. And the Pegasus 37 too. So I'm not sure I've enjoyed all the shoes in the same way. But that aside, some of those shoes worked out really well as recovery type shoes. Certainly the Nova Blast and the Pegasus 37. Don't think I'd want to wear the Pegasus 37 to run faster miles. Not happening for me that one. I'm sorry. I think once the babies appeared in the next week or so, hopefully, it's time for another time trial at the half marathon distance. Let's test the fitness and see what gains have been made over the last three months with all these miles. One thing I have noticed recently on my very easy efforts is the lowered heart rate, or at least average heart rate, on those runs. I noted one the other day, around about eight minutes, 39 per mile, so right in that recovery type pace, I managed to keep the heart rate below 130 beats per minute. Also an eight mile run the other day, where I had a heart rate of 139 beats per minute average, this time at seven minutes, 22 seconds per mile average pace. So about one minute, 20 difference there, in the average mile pace, but only 10 beats per minute increase in the heart rate. So I think certainly some encouraging 
signs there in terms of the level of effort or perceived effort that I'm using for those different paces. It wasn't all easy running on this run streak. Uh, I threw in a few 5Ks there. So I got out there, did this 5K time trial, like a mile either side of that, bookending it at an easy pace. Hit 20 minutes, 43 seconds, which is bonkers really, considering I just went out and had a go. No preparation. Six minutes, 41 seconds per mile average pace with a heart rate of about 153 beats per minute across that 5K. So really, really good. Again, some positive progress to take away from that one. I think the last timed 5K that I did was in January of this year. I think I did the park run, the Yeovil B course, uh, just out the back of the house here. I hit 20 minutes, 25 seconds that day. But the big difference there was that I had an average heart rate of 174 beats per minute. So a massive difference there. I think certainly doing the miles over the last few months have lowered that perceived effort and certainly the aerobic base is really strong. So certainly top speed improvement there was lower amount of effort needed. Perhaps I've got a bit more efficient in terms of my running form as well. Those higher paced efforts are seeming to be more sustainable now. So now the 100 days is up. I'm definitely going to take a rest day. Perhaps not tomorrow, maybe the day after. And perhaps if Mrs. Edbird at some point in the very near future gives me the green light, I will go for another half marathon time trial. Sticking relatively close by. If you've got any questions on that 100 day run streak that I've gone through, please let me know in the comments. You know, how did I feel? Why did I do it? Um, I think it's relatively clear why I wanted to do it. But if you've got any opinions, thoughts, whatever, let me see them in the comments. Time for a musical interlude. I dug out this awesome album from Edwin Collins. It's called Gorgeous George. This was released back in 1994, so ages ago now, 26 years ago. I can't quite believe it. A real mixed bag on this album. Loads of different types of tracks, sort of some funk disco, some campaigner type sort of protest songs, some great acoustic tunes, and of course the world famous Girl Like You. For me though, it's all about the campaign for real rock. That's just a great tune that Edwin wrote, all about his displeasure at those huge mega festivals that you get these days. Low Expectations and uh, North of Heaven are really wonderful as well. Some of Edwin's best tunes on this album. I suggest if you've never heard it before, do go out and grab it. Experience this wonderful album from Edwin Collins, Gorgeous George. Right, cats and dolls, it's time for me to mosey off into the sunset and have a blooming good rest. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and click the bell below for notifications of when the new videos launch. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they will be sent to you at the right time. If you've enjoyed the video today, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help out the channel. And also, you can help the channel out by sharing this video with your running buddies. My name's Ed Bud, and I'll be seeing you.